Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered the Orange Pi 03 complete setup guide that how to flash Ubuntu Jemmy server Linux operating system onto the SD card, how to configure the USB debugging, how to connect with the Wi-Fi and how to enable the SSH access. Now in this video, we are going to cover the complete Orange Pi setup for Ubuntu Noble Server Linux. Okay, so instead of Ubuntu Jemmy Server Linux, we are going to flash Ubuntu Noble Server Linux onto the SD card and then we will see the USB debugging. Okay, how we can connect with Orange Pi 03 using USB 2 TTL converter, how we can connect with the Wi Fi, and how we can enable the SSH access for our Orange Pi 03 board. So, what you require for this? So, you will be required this Orange Pi 03 board, a micro SD card reader, a micro SD card, and USB to TTL converter. So first of all, we will plug the micro SD card to the SD card reader. Okay, here you can see I have plugged it. We'll connect it with our system and then we will erase it. Okay, or we will format our disk and then we will flash the operating system onto our SD card. So first of all, you have to open the SD card formatter tool to format the SD card. Okay, so our card is F drive and size of our card is 64 GB. So that's why we have selected this card and we'll click on the format. Okay, so format is successfully done. Now we can press OK. We can close this SD card formatter tool. Now we have to open the Balena Eacher software to flash the operating system onto our SD card. Now, if you don't have the Balena Eager software, then you can visit our website. And here I have provided the download link for the Balena Eager software. Now, here you can see, we are covering this topic, okay? Now we have to flash Ubuntu Nobel Server Linux onto the SD card. So you have to download this one. So from where you can download? As this is the Ubuntu image, you can again navigate to this Google Drive, okay? And here you can see two folder, the image for the Linux 6.1 kernel version and 5.4 kernel version. So I am going in the 6.1 folder and here you can see Orange Pi 03 Ubuntu Nobel Server Linux, okay, which I have already downloaded in my system. So here you can see GitHub, Embedded Devices, Orange Pi, Operating System, 03 Ubuntu 6.1 kernel. And here you can see Orange Pi 03 Ubuntu Noble Server Linux. So you have to download it and you have to extract it. Once you extract it, you will be having two files inside the folder. Okay, and this one is our image file which we have to flash into our SD card. So here is our Balena Eager. We will click on the flash from file. Okay, here is our Orange Pi 03 Ubuntu folder 6.1 kernel and we want to flash the Nobel Linux. Okay, so we have to click here in this folder. We have to select this image. Okay, so what you can do is you can close this folder or you can uh, go out from this folder. You can close Balena Eager software in case you are going to face the error. Again, open the Balena Eager software in the admin mode. Now select the file, okay, Noble Server Linux. And here you can see there are no error. Okay, and here is our drive, 64 GB of drive. And we can click on the flash to start flashing the operating system onto our SD card. Now we have to wait until the flash is complete and then after it will validate the SD card and then after we can use that SD card with our Orange Pi 03 board. So let's wait for this to complete.
Okay, so we have successfully flashed our SD card with Ubuntu Nobel operating system for our Orange Pi 03. Now I can close it. I can remove the SD card from my system. Okay, and here is the camera for you. So we can plug the SD card into our Orange Pi 03 board. Okay, so we have plugged the SD card here on the back side of Orange Pi 03 board. Now we have to do the USB debugging. Okay, because we cannot access the terminal of Orange Pi 03 directly. So here we have this USB to TTL converter. So we have to connect this converter with this board. And for debugging here we have these three port or you can say these three terminal available for debugging purpose. Okay, now the ground pin of this board will connect to the ground pin of this debug pins okay the tx of this usb to ttl converter connect with the rx of this board and uh, rx of this usb to ttl converter will connect with the tx of this board okay so it's a vice versa ground will be common and rx will connect with the tx and tx will connect with the rx so that's how you have to connect this okay so let me connect it for you so okay so it is connected so ground is connected with the ground of this board tx is connected to the rx pin and rx is connected with the tx pin of this board now we can plug this usb to ttl converter with our system okay i have plugged it now here we haven't power up this uh, orange pi 03 but before powering up you have to open the putty software in your system okay and uh, apart from that you have to go to my pc and then you have to click on manage okay right click and go to manage and here in the device manager you have to check that our usb2 serial converter is connected on which com port so it is connected on the com4 okay so that thing you have to note and then you have to open putty now here i have uh, created this configuration okay using com4 and board rate 115200 so the same setting you have to use to connect with your orange pi 03 okay you just have to change the com port so right now it is connected with the com4 so i am using com4 and speed you have to use same 115200 now i can you know press on open it will open the terminal for me but here you won't see anything because we haven't started our board yet okay the board is not yet power up so we have to power it up so let me connect the power cable okay the board is power up and here you can see the details okay now here you can see the red led means kernel is starting and once you see the green led kernel is started and it is loading the operating system Okay, so OS has been successfully loaded in our Orange Pi 03 and here is the terminal. As you can see, welcome to Orange Pi 1.0.6 Nobel operating system with Linux version 6.1.31. The system load initial is 93%, uptime is 1 minute, the memory usage is 9% of 2 GB. Okay, there are no IP address because we haven't connected this board with the Wi-Fi yet. Here is the CPU temperature and here is the usage of our memory card or you can say whatever operating system we are loading from. Okay, that's storage device. So I have the memory card of 64 GB and available for use is 57 GB and there are 4 percentage is in the use. Now here you can see the username is Orange Pi and we are inside the terminal of orange pi 03 if you want to check the cpu then we can run the command ls cpu okay here is the cpu detail if you want to check free memory then free hyphen h this is the ram detail okay we have 2 gb of ram available with this board okay so that's why 1.9 gb is total this much is used this much is free 
now if you want to check the storage or you can say sd card details okay then you can type df h and here you can see we have the mmc block 0 p1 which is our sd card available 55 gb okay and use is four percentage so we have successfully boot up this orange pi 03 with ubuntu Nobel operating system okay also we have covered that how you can configure usb debugging for your orange pi 03 board with putty software to get access to the terminal of your orange pi 03 now the main task is to connect this board with the wi-fi so here i have provided the command which you can use so you can copy this command okay to find out the available wi-fi network across your board so i can paste that command and i can hit enter and here you can see we have capgemini 4g 5g there is another wi-fi network okay there are two uh, another wi-fi network now i want to connect this board with 4g network or 5g network that is possible so if you have the question that it can support only 4g or 5g so it will support both of the network okay now i want to connect this board with my capgemini 4g network so what i can do is i can copy this command okay and i can paste it here and then i can hit enter now here it is asking for the password of my wi-fi so here i have to provide the wi-fi password okay here you can see fail to add or active new connection because we haven't run this command with the sudo mode so what you can do is you can use the same command and you can add sudo before that command and you can hit enter now you have to provide the password for your root user okay now the default password for the root user is orange pi okay once you provide the root user password you have to provide the password for your wi-fi okay we have provided the password for our wi-fi and within a moment it will be connected you can see device wlan0 successfully activated so we have successfully connected this board with the wi-fi okay now we can check the ip address so if config and here you can see 192.168.1.15 is the ip address of my orange pi 03 now i can use this ip address to get ssh access for this board okay so we will copy this ip address we will open the command prompt here and we will ping that ip address and here you can see we are getting successful ping so my system and this board are in same network okay now we can try to access this board now if you want to access this board then there are two ways okay so either you can access it with the root user or you can access it with the orange pi user here i have already mentioned the password for the orange pi user and the root user okay so password will remain same orange pi for both of the user now if you want to connect it with the root user then you can copy this command you can paste it in the command prompt and you can hit enter now i have connected with this board previously okay so that's why i have this error so what i have to do is i have to navigate to the ssh folder in my user and i have to delete the previous entries okay then after i can clear the screen and you can use same command and then yes and here it is asking for the password now you can provide the password orange pi and boom we are connected so here you can see orange pi okay so we have successfully done the ssh access of our orange pi 03 so this is how uh, you can set up your orange pi 03 for your daily use now what i can do is i can remove this debug connection okay so i can remove it from here as well as from here that's it now it will run standalone okay and here i am able to access okay so maybe it is restarted okay uh, maybe the wire is loose so what we can do is we can try to ping the uh, board first so ping 192.168.1.15 and it is not able to ping okay here you can see we are able to ping now we can do the ssh access so yeah we can run the same command 
we can provide the password orange pie and here you can see we are inside the terminal of the orange pie 03 and here you can see the debug port is disconnected okay so once you restart your orange pie 03 it will directly connect with the wi-fi okay and it will use the same ip address which was assigned previously to the same board okay now i can update my system i can install node i can make it as my own iot gateway to collect the industrial data and send it to mqtt broker or do whatever thing i want to do with it okay so this is how you can set up your orange pi 03 board with ubuntu noble operating system and here we are using server operating system or you can say minimal operating system okay in the future videos we are also going to cover the desktop operating system that how you can set up desktop operating system in the orange pi 0 free board okay because here we have the hdmi connection in the board so we can also take the hdmi output we can connect it with our screen and we can also flash the desktop operating system inside this tiny board so this one is the powerful board with the 2 gb of ram okay so i hope everything is clear okay and if you still have any question or any doubt regarding setting up the orange pi 03 with noble linux server or ubuntu gemil linux server then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also you can comment on this video also you can send me a mail or ping me on linkedin now let's meet in the next video okay till then take care goodbye and thank you